Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your reading for the month of September of 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, the roles could be reversed as we could be talking to a cross watcher here, so keep that in mind. If this resonates with you, then just place it in your life where it fits, okay? It doesn't matter how it's being narrated. narrated. If it if it resonates for you or if it fits a certain way, then take it. But don't try and force anything that doesn't naturally fit into your life, yes? If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you would like to get some uh, extra content with me, I, uh, from me or whatnot, or you just like to support the channel, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. All right, Aquarius. So you are going through, it seems at this moment, um, you are going through an energy of introspection. Um, you, you, in, in your pre-shuffle here, you have the hermit in reverse. With that, you have the king of swords, the world, and the knight of cups. Uh, the, the, the world is in between the king of swords and the nine of cups here, Aquarius. And I feel like this is a time period for you in which you're balancing out the energies of your mind and your heart, okay? I see the Knight of Cups as an expression of the heart chakra, okay? Moving forward with your heart chakra, being vulnerable in that sense, in some cases, in some ways. I see the King of Swords as your conscious, rational, logical mind. Also, Aquarius, the King of Swords represents you, okay? Uh, as the king of swords or the kings represent the fixed energies and in the air quality, that is Aquarius. Uh, but what I'm getting from this Aquarius is that you're in the process of balancing your head and your mind. And coming to a form of introspection with that, learning about yourself. This might be a situation, this could go either way, either you've been too logically dominant dominated and you're needing to balance that out um so that your head and your heart are working together or you've been too heart dominated i mean i don't i i say too heart dominated with a bit of caution just because you really always want your heart to be leading you forward okay uh, but you also want to balance that with a, a, an open and rational mind just to make sure that you're being protective of yourself, right? So, okay, there's that. But then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady movement. All right, this is going to take some time. So so you're in this process right now. So you're in, you're in an introspective process. And what you're working on right now, the Hermit in Reverse, is bringing balance and sort of, I guess, a harmony or a union between your heart and your mind, okay? And ending the cycle that once was with that old balance. Okay, cool. Not bad, Aquarius. Um, I do have my door open and it's that time of the day where people around me are doing a lot of yard work so that's probably why that's what you're hearing in the background sorry about that but I would like to keep my door open anyway let's move forward Aquarius I am going to give this five shuffles for you yeah and we'll see what the rest of your message is for this month here we go this is one for my Aquarians, sun, moon, and rising, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign for a complete picture as to what could be happening for you during this time period. Yeah, this is two. For my Aquarians, this is three. For the month of September of 2021, this is four. And this is five. All right, Aquarius. Let's cut the deck here for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Aquarius. We've got the three of swords. 
All right. Um, I feel, okay, so yeah, there is a major discrepancy between your head and your heart. Um, or at least... At least that's what you're focused on at this time, okay? Or for whenever this reading resonates for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be in September, but okay. What I'm getting with the Three of Swords is the battle between your heart and your mind. Now, what I'm hearing is like there are some situations in which maybe your heart got you into a mess and it completely hurt, it destroyed you or it caused you a lot of pain. Or it could be the opposite. Your mind, you led with your mind and that created a heartbreaking situation or just a painful situation. And now there's a discrepancy between the two and you're needing to work that out. But immediately, the first thing that I picked up on with the Three of Swords was that there's a blame game going on. One side of the equation is blaming the other or is resenting the other or something like that. And maybe this could be between an interpersonal relationship or in an interpersonal relationship with you, between you and another person. But I know what I'm hearing is the heart and the mind, okay? Underneath the Three of Swords is the Two of Pentacles, needing to find balance between the two. Underneath the Two of Pentacles is the Knight of Wands, Okay, and which to me is speaking to your inspiration, your drive, your ability to face this. And then at the underneath all of that, you have the hermit again. So this really is an internal situation. This doesn't really feel like this, this is for anybody that, that's really having too much of this go on in the external. If there is external involvement, it's just a reflection of what needs to happen internally or what balance needs to be brought or found internally. Okay. All right. Let's move forward here. First half, second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. In the first half of your reading, you have judgment. It's time to rise above. It's time to handle this. It's time to fix this. That's what I'm getting. Judgment represents a call from your higher self or from the universe or just a, a, a calling coming from your soul to balance this out, okay? To work this out. The judgment card is coupled with the two of swords. Unfortunately, Aquarius, this two of swords uh, for you, I'm feeling like is representing a level of denial. And I feel like you may have been denying this. You may have been holding back this call to balance this out. I am feeling, I am picking up on resistance. I'm picking up on resistance here. You knowing, at least you knowing, or situations coming up that prove to you or show you that you've got to balance this out. You have to face whatever this is, but then you've been denying it. You've been denying that. And there goes my crystal. That sounds like it's shattered and broke, but I don't think it did. Hold on a second. Oh, it did break. Wow. You guys, my crystal broke. Oh no. It literally fell off the t I've, oh God. Hold on a second, you guys. <laughs> I had to pause for a second because I thought I just stepped on a crystal shard, which is like glass. But like, you guys, I'm really kind of sad. This was my favorite crystal. I carried this around with me all the time. Um, and I have marble floors in my apartment, so I'm like really not surprised that it broke when it hit the ground. But like, look, a little piece came off of it. I'm really sad. It's interesting that this happened during your, during your reading, Aquarius. Um, you know what this is making me think of? In terms of your reading here, there is a part of you that seems to be breaking off, that you may even feel like you are losing here. What I want you to keep in mind, though, is that, yes, my crystal fell and it hit my marble floor, of which it's done a few times before, but it hit the marble floor just right and a part of it broke off. Now, when we talk about crystals, this is probably a sign that I need to release this crystal, okay? But... Look at how much of it is still intact. And just one piece of it came off. So maybe it's just this piece that I need to discard and I can keep the rest of the crystal. 
I wonder if that's actually what you feel like is happening to you right now. There is a, oh, see, there goes a, a shard that I do not want to step on. Um, it feels like you're part of, it feels like you may be losing or missing a big part of yourself, but it's just a, it's just a piece. And the rest of the crystal or you are still intact. Now, obviously with this crystal, we can't really like add a new piece to it unless we're gluing it. But you as a, a be as a, as a more malleable being can regrow can replace whatever this piece is that came off with something new. And yet you were in denial here, Aquarius, of that. Interesting. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading, you have the Eight of Pentacles. See, but with this Eight of Pentacles energy, you could rebuild, you could regrow, you could reshape or create something new to fit into the space that seems to be empty now that you are, something is breaking away from you. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with the, wow, the Three of Pentacles. Look at that, Aquarius. Yeah. So, okay, so there may be a part of you that you seem to be missing or losing, but you could still, bre you could still rebuild. You could replace that. This is all about the self. This is nothing to do with the external, okay? Again, there may be some situations in the external that are a direct reflection of what needs to happen within, but this cannot be fixed or this cannot be changed unless you go with it. You cannot fix or heal or change this working solely with the external, okay? And the three of pentacles is proof of that, right? Because the three of pentacles is about teamwork, yes, but it also represents self-mastery, okay? Your challenge here, in the first half of your reading, Aquarius, you have the two of wands. See, but you got to make a decision. And it feels very simple, Aquarius. It's either a yes or a no. Yes, I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. It's really that simple. What it gets down to, what's being let, what's less simple is going through the process of figuring out how, why or or if you want to or not. It's not a complicated question where you're like, yes, and X and X and X, Y and Z, and blah, 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 and, or no and A, B, C and D. It's either yes or no. But coming to that to that to that yes or no is the challenge because you have to you have to deal with you have to deal with what would be holding you back. What would be causing you to say no to this internal shift? Or why you would need to say yes to this internal shift? The Two of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Cups. Compassion, understanding, empathy, facing your emotions, Aquarius. In order for you to make this decision, you are really going to have to understand what it is you feel about this, which in and of itself, sure thing, is a challenge. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading is the Ten of Cups. What will? And the first thing I heard with this was, what will truly make you happy? The Ten of Cups is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. So um, what I'm getting for this Aquarius is standing up for yourself. This is giving me vibes of actually going after what it is that you want or actually setting yourself up to receive what it is that you want. But there is a level of needing to hold a boundary, needing to honor your worth. Definitely needing to hold a boundary for yourself, but this isn't necessarily on an emotional level. This is on a physical output level. What am I worthy of receiving? And what am I not allowing myself to be on the receiving end of any longer that does not honor my worth or my value? Setting boundaries like that. That will get you to where it is ultimately you want to be or what would make you happy. Okay. 
You Aquarius, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Aquarius. I can't, I carry this crystal with me everywhere I go. And I hold it in my hand. And I can't, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've dropped this thing. And it never broke. Maybe like a, maybe a little piece or a little edge, like a little tip of it would snap off a little bit. But it's never broken like this. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Let's move forward. Second half of your reading. Yes. First set of, so we're going to be looking at the current energy off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. In the second half of your reading, you have the seven of cups. Okay, this is honestly, Aquarius, what this is feeling like it's translating into now is you just needing to deal with your emotion, internal emotional reality. There are some emotions or some feelings you've got going on here and the internal that you have got to deal with. So in the current energy off into the future, you're starting off with that, the seven of cups. All the different things that you need to focus on, that you need to face, all of the heartbreak. Seven of cups is coupled with the Page of Wands. And what I just heard with this Aquarius is rediscovering yourself through all of this. Okay. So while it may not be easy to face this stuff, you it, it's definitely worth it because it's providing you with a sense of rediscovering yourself. Maybe getting down to the core of who you were underneath or who you are underneath all of the burden, the baggage, the emotional cleansing and clearing that needs to be done. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading is the Ten of Wands. There you go. That's literally what I was seeing. The Ten of Wands, the, the burden, the baggage that you're carrying. The Ten of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Cups. So Aquarius, this has become a, this burden, this baggage you've been carrying has become a comfort zone. Better the devil I know. Okay. But you found contentment, you found resolve in this burden. But what you're trying to get to is what it is that's truly going to make you happy. Your Ten of Cups. And you can't get to your Ten of Cups if you're allowing yourself to carry the burden and strife of others that you have no business carrying to begin with. No wonder you got the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles as a closing message or overall energy. Or I'm sorry, closing message or potential outcome for the first half, for the past. And now in the current energies moving off into the future, we're dealing with that. We're dealing with that. We are... Weeding through the emotional stuff that needs to be emo uh, weeded through and understood so that you can rise out of it a changed person and get yourself out of this comfort zone of just holding all of the baggage or carrying all these burdens. Your challenge here, Aquarius, in the second half of your reading is the Nine of Pentacles being independent, standing on your own, releasing your stuff of that which no longer serves you or is never yours to begin with. Never yours to carry. Being independent, standing on your own, thinking for yourself, saying yes or saying no. The Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Wands. So, Aquarius, you're going through this right now so that you can stand on your own, you can be an independent individual, and you can... Get into alignment with what is truly right for you. That's your challenge here. Not let, allowing anyone else to tell you what your alignment should be. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aquarius, in the second half of your reading, you have justice. Look, for some of you, this justice is going to take doing the exact same, the exact thing that you have tr been trying to avoid for so long. But Aquarius, it's necessary. It's needed in order to balance out the scales for you. Justice is coupled with, I told you, the Eight of Swords. 
This is bringing justice into your life in terms of mental prison or terms in terms of how you've been hindered, held back, confined. This is literally breaking you out of jail. But it's going to be uncomfortable. I get that. You're going to have to... Fa this is literally for someone that has trouble facing their emotions. Or who has gotten into place uh, into a situation in the past where um, some something really terrible happened. Okay? And it pushed you to a place where you were just like, I don't want to deal with this. So I'm going to close off. Because this is too much. And it may have been too much for you at the time, but it, the perfect timing is now for you to face it and deal with it and heal it for heal it once and for all to break yourself out of this. Okay, let's get your closing oracle guidance, and I want to get that from the crystal mandala deck for you. Yeah, awesome. Five shuffles here. One, two. Three, four, and five. All right, Aquarius. Let's get your closing oracle guidance here. What closing oracle guidance do we have for my Aquarian? Please, spirit, the closing guidance. Card number 29, which does boil down to an 11. Ascended Master Kuan Yin and Pearl, Divine Rebel. We bring you the blessing of the Divine Rebel. Divine Rebels shake things up, create a divine disturbance, and refuse to play by the rules. They do this because they love divine love. They know there is nothing as powerful as the unconditional love of the divine. It will have its way in the world, in the hearts of all living beings. It will not be tamed, controlled, restricted, or denied. If there is a rule that gets in the way of that love, then the divine rebel will find another way, so that love can have its way. The divine rebel in you is not meant to do things the way others say you should. Some people may become frustrated with you because they won't know why you have to stand up and speak your truth. That's okay. Divine rebels are not always understood, but they are respected by those who are ready to make love more important than fear and who are willing to contribute constructively towards healing the world. All right, Aquarius, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Bye. <laughs>